this is very loud, so I'm just going to turn the audio down a little bit first. Uh, there we go. That'll be fine. Hello, everyone. Uh, Banner Lords. I've been looking after this game for... It feels like years. It's probably been years. It's probably been years um, since the very like first announcements uh, and um, shots from the developer on Twitter. And I'm so excited to finally get to play it. So obviously, new game. We'll preface this. This is a demo. This is not even a 1.0 version. Uh, if you want to call it alpha or beta, I don't even know. Those terms have become a little bit meaningless nowadays. Um, but this is not finalized. This is not a release version. This is version I have 0. found 5. a reason not to go to sleep. So, don't expect there to be no bugs. Don't expect there to be a finished game. This is a... This is a... This is an actual beta or actual alpha or whatever the hell you want to call it. But it's still, I'm looking forward to playing it. I still feel the music is too loud. Like, it's, it's, it's still loud for me. There we go. That's It's a very loud game. It's a very loud game. Um, hey, the Anto, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate that. Thanks so much. Uh, what kind of game is this? This is a... God, it's really hard to put, pin it down because... Uh, there is a city building aspect to it, like something like Banished. Um, but there's also Total War esque battles. But they're made of the people who you've built in your village or town or city, depending on how far you've gone. Um, and yeah, it's. Uh, at the moment, I think we don't get to see much of the battles because we don't have access to the Robber Baron or Realm Conquest. It's just the rise to prosperity we have access to. The first lord to settle these lands, start from nothing, and build a prosperous medieval city. That's the plan. That's what we're going to try and do. And we also have, you know, some, some nice portraits. Obviously, we're going to be Sir Lambert. Why wouldn't we be? Um... I don't feel like any of these really look like me, but um, of all of them, I think he looks the coolest. So I, I wish I had a, a beard that nice. Like that's now that that's a beard to be proud of. Like to be fair, that's real nice. Um, I also have the ability to load custom textures. I did give this a quick try right before starting, but I'm not very good at Photoshop, so when I do it, it turns up this. So uh, we're just going to be creating a coat of arms. Um, it's like it's pretty it's pretty basic, but at the same time, everything you need is there. Um, well, everything I need is there because we have a dragon. We actually have two options of dragons. One's a little bit skinny, um, and one of them's a little bit chunky. Uh, we're gonna go chunky. Uh, we also, if we wanted more heads, uh, you know, if you want a Hydra, or if you just want, like, a Griff, like, there's, there's quite a lot. There's, there's, like, not a small, if you want to be from the Isle of Man, if, for example, that, that's cool. Obviously, we're going with the White Dragon, um, and change the colors of various things. Uh, this is what I like, obviously. I'm, I'm a very simple being, I'm a very simple man. Um, you know what it might be cool, though, is if we have, like... Some checkerboard bullshit behind us. Is anything like this? Oh, I like the chains. I like the chains. The chains do me nicely. The chains do me nicely. So, we're going to have that as our uh, fella. We can change the amount of dudes we want. Like, look, look, look at that. It's really cool. Uh, so far, banner creator gets a star. Gets a star. Like, there's... I'd say this is probably better than CK3s. If I'm being honest. I quite like it. Anyway, that's enough of fucking around with uh, with this. Let's uh, let's get into it. Standard, bounce, bounce, whatever. Sure. Even got the typical cool ice guy. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you have one of them, you got to flaunt it. Right, and immediately pause because I don't know what the fuck to do. 
There is a fire at the heart of every settlement, a bastion of safety, warmth, and light against darkness of the world. On this cold spring morning, your men blow on their fingertips, their breath clouding the air, but there is plenty of work to warm them. As the toil begins, you can almost imagine you hear the ring of anvils, the toiling of bells, the cries of the marketplace. Possibilities. In the distance, fog lingers in the hollows of the land, and the world is quiet, watchful, waiting for you to choose which of these to make real. So we need to build a granary, a logging camp, a forager's hut, and a storehouse. That's that's the in initial plan, and we've got a year to do it. So we're going to immediately pause, move the mouse around, yeah, decent camera controls, sure, sure, uh, zooming in and out. Zooming in could be a little bit faster, I would say, but yeah, it's not bad. Uh, WASD to move around. Looks like we got some kind of procedurally generated, like, map as well, because I did load in um, just to see that everything was working and the frame rates were good, and I didn't start here, I'll tell you that much. I did start in a clearing with forest all around me, but I did not start here. Um, I'm trying to see, if, is there anywhere that looks like where I started, or is it just pure randomly generated? Was it here, maybe? If I have a look... No, it wasn't. That's cool. That's cool if it's, it's like, you know, you start in a random area. I like it a lot. Okay, so. These are our people. We have Herman, Linhart, Ott, Jorg, and, and another alt. I oh, don't know. No, we have cunts. We have cunts. Of course we have cunts. Why wouldn't we have cunts? Why wouldn't they try and demonetize my uh, Twitch channel? Like, that makes sense. I don't know why my camera is lagging, by the way. That sucks. I hope that's going to fix itself real soon. If not, I'll just turn off the camera. Yeah, I'll just turn off the camera. Camera is off. Sometimes games don't work nicely having uh, multiple things going on, especially when they're new games. So, we have some supplies here. We have some supplies here. Uh, a granary to store my food so it doesn't all go rotten sounds like a really good idea. So, let's go into construction. There's the logging camp. There's a woodcutter's lodge, a forester's hut, a hunting camp, and a forger's hut. We can do some mining for uh, iron ore. Here's the storage. There's the granary and the storehouse. I think these really need to be my first first things to build. The granary, uh, you can place it holding down left click to drag it around. Okay, cool, cool. Easy enough. Uh, let's just pop that there. Unassigned peasants automatically work on construction. That's good to know. And we'll also immediately build a storehouse as well. And we'll pop that... Well, we'll pop that there. Uh, we can also change... Oh, no, that's the region map. That's not what I wanted to do. That That's cool that I found out that, though. Uh, there was something I wanted to see. Where, is, where do I see the different map modes? I saw it before, and now I've lost it. There was an ability to show different map modes, like where the underground water is and all of that. It's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, we've got homeless families, so we need to build cottages. Uh, that's probably in village life. A burgage plot? Okay. A well, market area, food stall, firewood stall, clothing stall, tavern, church. Is that housing? Does that count as housing? Admission. Okay, so this is needing medium village. Okay. Trade. We've got a livestock trading post and a regular trading post. We've got some industry. Got some farms. Yeah, I think it's probably a burgage plot. Some buildings have flexible borders. Place four points to designate an area. The cursor will snap to the rows of the plots. Try to create an organic shape. Oh, that's kind of cool. Got it. Uh, I think for now we'll try and build this before we, we look into that. So, I'll unpause and see if my people start doing things. Is there this sun or fire above? Um, it's the sun, mate. 
So can I see what you are doing? Obviously you're not doing anything, but can I see a list of like jobs? Press a walk around your town in third person mode. Issues like clipping through houses or weather glitches will occur. Don't care, I'm going to do it. Oh, oh, hello there. Um, pretty sure my guy was supposed to be bald, but okay, I wasn't expecting this. This is cool. This is dope. It's not the guy that I picked, but who cares? That's awesome. So, the... Okay, so to bring... I guess to bring the supplies to where they need to be, we're going to be using the ox to do it, because obviously these logs are huge and people really can't carry that much. This is way more, I would say realistic than something like Banished. He did have a cool red hat, that's true. That is true. So we're currently a settler's plans. We need five burgage plots to level up. Uh, so what else we got up here? We got unassigned families. We got a permanent job will work on construction or repair if there's nothing to build. They help out with jobs with ticked enabled idle labor's option. Assigned families. Okay. Alright, total population there, got approval, causes rebellion at 0%, okay, public order, we got regional wealth, livestock, number of months before supplies ran out was four, Neuenfurt, okay, this is, this is a thing, I think this is a bit in progress, okay, currently showing surplus goods, which is default. Total goods stored. Okay, that's for this. Tools, materials, commodities, equipment, treasury, we've got annual royal tax, king's favour, influence. That's really cool. I like it a lot. So you're bringing some wood over there now. Oh yeah, big fan. Uh, this game is Manor Lords. It is in development. It is not complete yet. Uh, but we have managed to snag ourselves an early copy to explore and share. I'm very happy with. We can add and remove roads as well. Some workers can use handcarts to transport goods more efficiently. Up to 10 items at once to enable the handcart uh, transportation road points from both buildings that can be connected by a road network. Okay. Cool. All right. The demo will be out today on Steam. Gotcha. Game is not. Game is paused. Unpause. We can set a priority as well. When, it, when pin window just has it there, we can just. Okay. All right. Cool. So as soon as that's done, then they can go and build the storehouse. Well, what can I find around the place? We've got berries, an iron deposit, some wild animals. More wild animals. What else can we find? We've got stone deposits. More berries. Anything else I haven't seen? Oh, it's this trade route. Ah, with a road going all the way through going to where I am as well. So maybe that'd be a good idea to build a road that attaches to here. Maybe I'll wait until my supplies um, have been uh, moved into the supply house so this can move out of the way. So, Burgage Plot. This is one of the ones that has um, zoning. Oh, and here's my underground water as well, which is what I was trying to say before. This is my underground water. So if I would like to build a well, for example, building it above that would be the best option. Uh, but yeah, how about we build like a burgerage plot? Do we want it up against the road or not? I'm not sure yet. 
I'm very tentative to do really everything or anything at the moment. Upgrade to a large granary for three. Okay, so we upgrade straight inside. It'd be nice if somebody could go and bring this over here. The roads need to be built is also a question. Nope, they're just they're just a thing. Okay, cool. So if somebody could bring that over there, that'd be fucking swell. Yeah, I would like to be, go straight through the wood. So we'll get that built. Did I assign anyone to work at the granary? That's a, that's probably a good. Ah, add a worker. There we go. And then we'll add a worker there as well. Suppose I can't add a worker here. Oh, I can. Okay. So storehouse can have 50 logs and 250 generic whatevers. Nice, just go. I made a road for you, you know. I don't see There's anything no in your cart. Tomorrow, find a new home or town. Alrighty then. We also needed to build a logging camp, so there's a lot of forest basically everywhere. So I'm not too worried about where I place this one. Uh, but we're going to place it about there. And we'll attach it to the road as well. Can I sneak a road through there? No. Maybe we were a little bit too ambitious. Click on the hammer to finish it. Okay. I like how deep you can zoom in as well. Hmm. Time to find a good tree in the soft ground. We do need to build some houses for them as well. Let's build a house. Let's build a yeah. Build one all around here. Too small. Okay. Now it isn't. We have our first house. Very cool. You're procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. The stuff to do. We also need a forager's hut. And they need to go re reasonably close to the berries, then I would imagine. Oh, not enough resources. We need more. We need to cut down more trees first, then. I'll bear back just a moment.
Apologies for that. My son woke up. But I put him back to bed, so all is well. Right. That is under construction. You're bringing more logs over. Okay. You just need a bit more work. So you're bringing logs here, then. I didn't even need to build this, according to my uh, establishing foothold mission. Good to get it going anyway, I think. And once that's done, we can attach this to the main road. Nice. Very, very nice. I do like that it gets built in a reasonably realistic way as well. All the pieces going up when they need to. That's pretty cool. I like it. Alright, logging camp done. Love unlimited work area is fine. Oh wow, that's a traitor. There is a traitor going past. There's multiple traitors going past. I need, I need, tr I need the trading hut. Sell surplus goods to passing traders. Cool. Okay, we don't actually have any of those yet, so we're not going to do it. But we know what to do. Also, it would look better if something like that. Yeah, that looks more realistic. Nice, we have a house. Peasants are coming to your village. This is great, but watch out for your supplies. I'm getting cold. Peasants can rebel. We have no water access. Uh, so where do we get the well again? Village life well. It still requires a... Uh, well, okay, we know where the source of water is, but we need more wood. Like, you need to go and cut wood. Can I stay with his drink? Nope. You can go and cut wood. Is that mm. what you're gonna go do, huh? Time to find a good tree and it soft ground. Very much looks like it. Total population of five. We've got enough supplies to run three more months. We need to do this so that we can start foraging. I mean, I think the house was, like, a bit premature. But it's fine. Can I stay with his drink? It'd be nice if I could rename the people. Mm. Time to find a good tree and soft ground. Always helps for um, games that you stream when you can rename things after people in your chat. That's always nice. Oh, hello. Tree fell over. Thought so far? Really excited for the game, but don't want to be let down. Well, what I'm playing is a very early version, and it's just the... I think just the city building part. I'm not certain. I can't be certain yet. I haven't played enough of it. Uh, but it looks fucking gorgeous. It runs really nicely. I'm not getting any, you know, temperature spikes in my uh, machine. I'm not getting any frame drops. Like, it's... it's For an early game, that's rare. Um, I like the way that the, the building plots that you're building are, you know more organic and less um they're not uh you know 
this is a, a, a house is this square, it fills this footprint, and if you don't have this footprint, then you can't build it. I'm, I'm glad that that's not the case. Uh, it's way more organic, way more functional this way. Hmm, maybe I built that a bit too close. So where's my trees? Are you... Where's my people? They're in here somewhere. I can hear him. There he is. Nice. That's what attracted me to the game, uh, was how the towns look natural and believable instead of being grids. Yeah. I think it'd be very difficult to... Well, probably not difficult, but it'd look... It would actually take effort to make a grid... Um, style village in Manor Lords. Very much looks like you're more going to be conforming to the terrain and it's just natural. Nothing seems a bit like, nothing seems forced. There will be an open demo on Steam from the 3rd to the 10th of October. Yes, exactly. Uh, in how many hours is that unlocking for people? I don't know if I can tell. Uh, I can't tell. Oh well. Right, so we got wood there. So now we can get the foraging camp. Which is here. Oh, we still need two. I can't even set it to build yet. At the moment we've got... Can we see? There, one, one timber so far. And you can store 28 as well. Alright, we now have two. So we will build the foraging hut. And that will be our foothold established. And we need to do it quickly because we're going to run out of food in two months. And that would be very, very bad if that was to be the case. And as soon as we get another log, we're going to be building a well. It's a shame that it's so far away. I, mean, I feel like it's probably not far away. Like, that's that's not far away at all. But if I could have it in the center of my town, then obviously I'd be much more happy. I'm out, about to run out of timber and block myself. Yes, I've got the woodcutter's camp, don't worry. Thankfully, I don't need to actually turn it into timber, it's just logs is fine. Oh, and that can be relocated, apparently. And relocate building. Go, now I've got a big open space in the middle. Nice. So maybe I'll build another house here. Yeah, something like that could be cool. Or the tavern. Clearly the tavern needs to go there. Or a market area. Just make a market area go all around the center. I like that idea. You brought it to storage. Now you should bring it over here. Legacy view is locked. Okay. I, 
I, I find it very incredible that when you zoom in to be like at this level, you could very easily be forgiven for thinking this is like, you know, a, a first person RPG game, right? You're walking into a Kingdom Come Deliverance little village. Right? That's that's to you could be totally forgiven for that. Other than the fact that you're a giant, because you can't zoom in quite close enough to be on the same level as these guys. But yeah, it's just incredible. And you can go all the way out to that. It it's wild. It's actually wild. Very impressive. Like it is truly staggeringly impressive. So we got one unassigned fella. He'll go in the foraging hut. how we get ourselves like lambs and stuff. I do also do like that building, like construction can start on a building before it has all of its resources there. Like, you brought one log and that's enough to start this part. You're not going to be able to finish it obviously, but that'll come when you've got all of the pieces. Kind of go 16x. Very cool. So these homeless tents we cannot delete. After all the homeless find accommodation, they're automatically removed. Okay, gotcha. I like that they put the wood on a stand to use it. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, it's it's very it's very uh, it's funny because basically the, the methods aren't really too different from today. I have in my garage trusses that look very similar to this, other than the fact that they're metal and they fold. But like a flat bit with two legs coming off it, or four legs coming off it. But like it's it's very accurate to you know just how things work. Makes sense. I don't know why you build it with the moss. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why why you would build it with moss on it, like as a intentionally. But sure. Wonder, will I be able to see inside the building once it's finished? We're finished. I want to see. Where are you going? There's no oval. Tomorrow, find a new home. Or town. Find something there, did you? Heaven shine down and grow the land. Can I see inside these? Well, yes, because that's open. What about the house? Only when I go inside. But I mean, it's interesting that the inside is modelled. <gasps> Quest completed! Let's go! Your supplies are dry and secure, and the first stage of work is done. The stories your people tell around the fire are of the many dangers in the world from beasts to blights. Strange tales about fuckers who go on pilgrimage or small creatures who spin gold from sunset to sunrise. They tell these stories, put common names to their fears. Soon they'll teach these stories to their own children. It's time to bring wives and children to the settlement now that they can take shelter in proper homes. For your lands to prosper and grow, you'll need not only workers but families. So I need five burgage plots and a well. 
I'm on it, Chief. First of all, the well. And we know... Yeah, we can't even build it here. It must be built on a water vein. One uprooted tree. That's fine. Oh, wait, no. Don't even need that. And we'll... Uh, Road build to there. Too small. I wonder, can I get two housing plots out of this? No, just the one. Resources. Okay. All right. I wonder, could you? You could make it like that. Oh, zero housing plots. Okay, never mind then. Oh, there's one. But road access obstructed. figure out what, what exactly is possible in this system. Hear that? The... Between the first and second point seems to be where the... the house... comes in, like where the road starts. Or where the... It's not too small. But, mate, look how big I'm making it. How is it too small? Oh, oh, we got two plots there. But not enough resources for it. Balls. I suppose we could also go along this road as well. Could work. You've already got some goods transported there, so I won't screw with that. I only need... Wait, I do need two, so... I need... Sorry, I need five total, so that's only two. And three more. But I also need to wait until I've got enough wood for it. The well is connected, very nice. We need definitely need somebody on that immediately. All families are assigned. We have wild animals there. We also have wild animals here. I might... Pop ourselves a hunting camp just about here. I know it's on the main road, but does that matter? I don't think it does. And that doesn't even need any goods, apparently. Hopefully I haven't screwed myself. I, hopefully I, I, I completely forgot to assign a guy here. S somebody please go and find food. It's just over here. Yes, he's going. He's walking through the walls, but it's fine. Go, Jorg. I believe in you. Not sure why you'd need a Danax to go get some berries, but you know, you do you, buddy. 
Oh, you're getting water. Can I see who is on that job or no? Granary worker. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> of course. It's cunts. Cunts the berry man. Hopefully I don't starve to death. That, that would be bad. My first game, starving within the first few moments of the game. Walking back already? Where is cunts? Oh, he's coming back again. That is all you bring at a time? Okie dokie then. One berry at a time. You have got to be joking me. How How is that a thing? Do I need to build like a road to the berries or something so you can use a handcart? This is, this no is other. wild. You, you should, this is Find insane. Or town. Okay, well, I mean... One berry at a time. I mean, you've it's a small bucket, I guess. That, that is wild to me that you would only bring a single berry at a time. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. Time to find a good tree and soft ground. Do they all look the same? No, the houses all look different as well. Procedurally generated houses. That's, that's what you like to see. Oh, you're new. Hello, Al Alhind. What was your name? Al Hate. Nice. Is there kids around as well then, or no? Yeah, we've got six men and one woman. We're low on supply. I know we're low on supplies. He's bringing one. He's bringing one berry at a time. It's, it's not much I can do about it. <laughs> Thimble, exactly. That's what he's using. Oh, you got another berry, did you? Just single, single berry, huh? It's, um... Uh, well, I mean, you suit your name, let's put it that way. Alright, looks like people are going over here. What's the cow's name? The cow's name is Ott. Why do you share a name with the cow? Or the, I guess it's Ox. All right, we got 14 food though. And five logs, which means we should uh, think about doing this. Um... We wanna try and make a, a double. A 
apparently that's good. I don't like that though. That looks awful. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not unhappy with that though. That could be kind of cool. How about now? Well, I'm trying to find cool shapes, all right? Not that, apparently. Oh, there was a there was a house there for a second. That's apparently good. Come on, give me a house. <sighs> Really? I have to do this to get it big enough? Why do you have to have such large houses? It's so bizarre. Okay, well that's a house there then. Which made that road instantly fat. See, if I don't attach it to the... Ro oh, there we go. Okay, I'm happy now. I'm happy. I got, I got it. I got it working. We got some sexy housing. And now the market area. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, it looks beautiful. That's my market. Center of town. The ring road. The... This, the, you know, your standard British roundabout. I love it. Not a fan of the amount of food that we don't have, though. So we'll have somebody on that food kind of immediately, please. Got, we got another fella and another woman joined us. It's seven and two. Nice if someone went over there, though. Maybe we'll have fewer people on logs. Maybe two people on logs. There's no hovel. Tomorrow, find a new house. Yeah, this no town or fire above. Oh, mate, shh, it's fine. Forger having two is probably still a good idea. Each person consumes one unit of food per month throughout the whole year and one unit of fuel in the winter. Oh, mate. <laughs> Please. More food. My forager has is empty and my granary has seven bread and three berries. Four berries in it. I think we don't really need somebody on no. storehouse. Or granary. I feel like potentially a better idea would be two hunters and two gatherers. 
logging camp. Yeah, yeah. So hard to believe we can all play this game demo tomorrow. I know. We've been waiting for it for how long? Um, somewhere in the region of like forever. And it's so close. Yo, trader, you got any you got any spare grub? Any any food? Is hey, your fire. Mate, I'm pretty sure it's the sun, but I'll check for you, right? Yeah, no, it's the sun. So what are we going to hunt? Okay, so wild animals are not... I was worried for a second it was going to be like wolves, but no, it's it's deer, so that's good. You wish this today in 1993. <laughs> That's, you know, makes sense. Yeah. So I think when you start making, bringing us food. Okay. I, oh, he's shot one already. Nice. Let's go. What was your name? Surprised this guy isn't running away. Not gonna lie. You are ne oh, I was going to say, you are never carrying that thing. That thing is super heavy. You know, you're just going to tie a rope around its neck and just drag it along. Or its legs, even. That does not look comfortable. It's going to take, take one pork chop and leave. That's the thing. How do we... Right, okay. So, we have... Um, where is it? Livestock. How do we get... Lambs and sheep and chickens and goats. Lambs and sheep being separated to makes total sense. Don't worry about it. Um, how do we get those? Do we have to trade for them? Or can I find them on the map somewhere? Some wild sheep. Wild chickens. Oh, nice. Little river that starts here. Okay, cool. Very cool, very nice. Oh, this looks awesome. This looks really dope. No, oh, I don't want to zoom out. Anyway, yeah, go back to my... Ooh. That is a... That is a cliff and a half. Alright. Let's go back to my house. How are we doing on the hunting? We got two things there, but that doesn't count as food. We we need to we need to uh, turn the meat into not tannery malt house converts barley to malt. No. Produce oh it produces meat and pelts okay, so it's already it's gonna produce the um, the food for us. It just hasn't done it yet. Oh there we go six meat let's go. It's still only a month's supply. I think maybe we do have one person not on cunts. Uh, one person on the granary though. To bring food from over here. You followed a small river once. It actually did begin like that one. Oh, fair enough. We have rivers that pop up out of the ground like that here in Florida. And uh, you're in Alabama. Well, I'm in Finland. Um, there's a lot of lakes. Hey, we've got two months of food. Let's go. He's got 12 berries. Man man is bringing back one berry at a time. He's made 12 trips. Maybe he made half a trip once, got hungry, ate it, and then went back. Could, could have happened. You never know. So 
So actually, we've got one, two, three, four. We need another burgage plot. I've got an idea, right? Because we were struggling on building a burgage plot here. What happens if we do something like that to square off this area? Then we go back to the burgages. Come on. Hey, thank you very much for the bits, Dark Horse. Appreciate it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Lovely little burgage plot. And that'll be our fifth. Wild animal carcass, pelts and meat. So, um, what I'm thinking is... We're going to need a tannery. Because we have all this, you know... Um, all this, this, this... Leathers. We're going to need to do something with them. We do need more logs, though. We have only three logs in storage, so we need to wait until we got four. Also, the market stall is just it's not there yet, because we need... Food stall. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I've ruined my roads. No, please. Oh, they cost resources. Okay, no, 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 no. We'll get to them eventually, I'm sure. There's another burgage plot. Does that mean I'm going to get extra people? Yeah, I've just got another, another woman. We're up to ten population now. You've been waiting on this and the first men. The first men rings a bell, but I can't place the bell. Where's the first men? I know I've heard of it. But I can't, I can't place it. You have to remind me. Colony sim. Yeah. I'll have to look back into it when I finish my stream. Still only three logs. If we we have somebody on logs, right? I'm sure of it. Uh, woodcutter. He's up here cutting wood. Good lad. So how do you bring that back? I do kind of like the echo when it's going in, uh, was it 4x speed? Yeah. It's a nice effect. Alright, so how are you bringing that home? Ah, you don't. The ox gets it for you. Nice. Oh, there's another log there as well. Do you get two logs per tree, I wonder? Well, that's four. So what we're going to do is... Get ourselves a tanner. Where was you? You were... Not gathering. Plant new trees. Okay. Tannery. Pelts into leather. If we could build it, like, right next to it. Would be the worst idea. The fact the dude is moving around the tree on the ground he's cut down to cut into movable pieces is magnificent. Yeah, the attention to detail and like the amount of 
care taken by um, the developer is just it is the fact that it's one person the fact that it is a single developer that's done all of this is it, it blows the mind it really is incredible is ridiculously impressive. So cool to see this game live after I've been following on Twitter for so long. Yeah. <laughs> how how long has everyone been following the Manor Lord's Twitter? Or Lord's Manor as he is on Twitter? Uh, it is it is easily years. Actually I'm gonna check how long has his Twitter account been alive. Um Created his account in June 2020, and it was pretty much an immediate hit, so I imagine a lot of people have been following him since 2020. Yes, yeah, so this market area, I'm pretty sure it's going to be more relevant in, like, once we finish this Humble Beginnings, we'll get another mission and the market might be a part of that. I, I imagine partly we may have like jumped the gun on certain things. Who are you? Albrecht. Okay, I, I think Manor Lords is somewhat Germanic. It could be Saxon, in fairness. Albrecht was a name. Heinz. Yeah. Family joins one of the settlers. Nice. We're up to 12 people. Beautiful. Um, I'm thinking this is going to get replaced with the tavern. Or the church. No, the tavern. The, the, the tavern. And what's more important? Clearly the tavern. We'd actually probably fit both if we moved the hitching post. over here. There we go. Feels natural. Your province name is very dramatic. True. Yeah, Neuenfurt. Yeah, that it is. It is true. I, I think the uh, the sun's going out. Whoever was complaining about the fire in the sky. Heinz and Albrecht. Who are you? Ott. I, th I feel like we've got like five hot Otts. Um, always got your cunts, naturally. He's a staple of the uh, village. Uh, we got another Ott over here. Uh, Jorg, one of the OGs. Um, I want to find more of the women to see what their names are. I suppose I can just have a look in here, right? Jorg, Herman, Kunz, Lionheart, Linhart, sorry, Ott, Alhate, uh, it's one of the women. Els is another one of the women. Um, Heinz, Christina, another Ott. So we've got two Ots. We've got a Barbara. Nice. A Barbara. Uh, yeah, two Ots and the uh, the Ox is also called Ot. I do... I actually love 
I'm I'm so enamored with the fact that these houses are manipulatable in their shape. I think it's so cool. Very pleased with it. Do like this guy's like, ha, ah, I've got lovely wooden planks and your fence is just made of wicker. How pathetic. Maybe the wicker will like upgrade to this once it's done. I don't know. Most beautiful city builder I've seen. It is certainly up there. Bit of thatched roof, why not? We can also just upgrade them from here, right? Upgrade to Leve 2. We need to be a village, and I think we're just we're just a hamlet at this point, or a settler's camp. But we become a small village once this is finished. So It's so close as well. It's so close. Yes. We just need some logs up here. Let's go. Five more logs. Four more. Two more. One more. Last log. Let's go. Yes. Neuenfurt. It's a small village. Ah, delightful. Oh, I had a message there and I missed it. There it is. Give me that message. As you walk to Primitus, surveying your village with pride, a woman walks past you. She's bent nearly double under a sack. You ask how long she's been walking, and she tells you it takes her half a day now to get all the food she needs for her family from the hunters and farmers that surround the village. If only it was a marketplace where your people could acquire food, clothing, and firewood, they'll be happier and have more time for other work. I called it. Man, man, man did call it. We've got a time of... Uh, 1800 days, sure. So we know how to do these. Food stall is going to be next to the granary, makes sense. Uh, we're going to have a firewood stall. Oh, not enough resources, okay. More logs. Log, log me up. We've got two people working there. We'll eventually have more. I feel like I made my market a bit too big. Oh, you had a commercial just as you click the uh, message? Sorry, buddy. I don't think I can get it back. But it basically said there was a woman. I, I walk past uh, this woman. And she's bent over double with the weight of a sack. She's very unhappy that she has to walk all the way to the hunting camp to get the stuff. So I should build a market so that she doesn't have to walk as far, basically. Do the stalls need to be placed near a road? It kind of... I mean... Uh, let me let me just remove this one and try again. No. Technically, no. Can I build a road through this? No. I could demolish the market. These do have to be built in a market. I suppose what I could do is... Have it only be half. And then what we can do is maybe like add a road across there I, uh, I it, it's not terrible like they don't have to be up against the wall but I feel like it should be up against the road right I have snapping on so it snaps the road, yes. But I can just put it in the middle. It just needs to be in the market area. Oh nice, this has also gone away now. 
Oh my god, the tavern is colossal. Alright, yeah. Let's try and move you. You can move there. Like straight line that road makes building the tavern a bit easier, right? We don't have the resources, but I'm just like testing. Enough space on the sides to to build roads out of there as well. How big's the church? The church is even bigger. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm I'm pretty sure that's gonna be after that. That's a, that's a fucking colossal. <laughs> Colossal size. I can relocate this actually a little bit. Okay, you know what? Relocate you there a second. Forager's hut. Why can't you relocate there? Just relocate you there. Okay. Oh, you have to rebuild it. Oh, Phil. Does it at least refund me? Oh, Phil. Okay, okay. That sucks. That sucks. At least we know. At least we know. Okay, we learned. Mistakes were indeed made, but we learned, and this is the important fact, is that we learned. So now we've got a big flat area that we can be like, yo, tavern, let's go, and um, church, let's go. Eventually, naturally. Pantry limit reach, build more granaries. Is my granary really full? How is my granary full? Oh, my pantry is full. Okay, okay, so you need workers to bring stuff to the, the pantry. Okay, okay, I get you, I get you. And the storehouse is also full. No, it isn't, but it's got no workers and it needs one. So, do we actually have to create firewood? These create firewood? Provides fuel to burgish plots? Uh, I suppose not. Where's the firewood cell? Fire above. doodads. It's hard to really gauge on which side we're supposed to be purchasing from. Also, why have a roof when it's not got anything to stop the rain falling through it? Oh yeah, Tannery, let's pop a dude on there. to upgrade all of the green requirements must be met I don't I don't see anything in green oh wait food three out of eight 
We need fuel. We, we, I mean, we got water. What we could try and do, and actually, is um, produce some wheat. A communal oven. And a windmill. Oh, dope. I wonder, if I do the sheep farm, do we... get the sheep. Breeding requires sheep breeding. Sheep beating. Development branch locked in the demo. Okay, so we can't do sheep. Import. They must first be imported by the livestock trader. Okay. But farms should be okay, right? Sheep must be imported. At least it's realistic. Yeah. True, true, true. I wouldn't mind a second ox. That would be kind of dope. But yeah, we need... Hmm. What do we need? What do we need? How are we gonna... We need entertainment, so we're probably gonna need to build... trying to understand how to read this. So we've got three out of eight. Does that mean, you know, clothing, entertainment, and faith is complete, or no? Kungund. What a name. Looks like I need the church and pub. Yeah. Which means I need more people working here. At least the, the food situation has completely solved itself. But I am very tempted to... Build a farm. Oh, and we can see where the... Um, the fertile areas are as well, and I'm in a very, very infertile area. That's that's just my luck, really, isn't it? That's just for Emma. How do I? Do? Oh, there is Emma. Okay. So barley fertility. Hey, look at this beautiful little area. So I'm thinking barley in here. Too big, okay. Oh, it's raining. That's also too big. Okay, well, I guess we should start over here then. Uh, we can get through here, actually. like to plant barley. It's disconnected from the road network. Where where do the where does this one connect though? There? No.
if we're gonna do crop rotation. Hmm. Like the rye's good over here and over here. The barley's good here. It's like a tiny little sliver of crossover. Do I need to care that hard about it though? Is the question. Do Should I care this much? Let's build a small little field there. We're gonna build a small little field next to it. And you can be uh, barley, and you can be flax, I guess. I don't know. I just want to have a look at it, really. Got three timber. That foraging thing is done. We'll pop with someone on there. What's Cunt's doing right now, actually? What are, what are you up to? You're now a granary worker. You've you've upgraded your um, one berry, single berry uh, <laughs> bucket into a one carcass cart with a wobbly wheel. Granary does not need three people. Two is good. Ah, when it's in use, that's what happens. Okay, so let me have a look at my burgage plot now. Food, now that I've put that on, if I turn that off, now if I turn it on, Nothing changed. Hmm. I mean, it's still waiting for someone, I guess. Oh, maybe it's waiting for you to bring the food back. What happens? Is this where? Where? Where is your home? Is this one your home? This is your home. Okay, what happens? Anything? I really don't know. I really, really don't know. Like, you're just taking food there. There's no one working there. You're just taking it. Pantry limit reach. Mate, I think we're a bit over that. I blame cunts. Really, I do. Your requirements are at 5 out of 8. I guess that's this? I still don't know how to make firewood. Obviously, chopping logs, but... I've only got four timber. If I had five timber, I'd build a tavern right now. Although, I don't know why I would build a tavern, because I've got nothing to put in the tavern. 
brewery converts malt to ale. Converts barley to malt. So we need we need that. Woodcutter's Lodge gives that is that this? No, this is a logging camp. We need a woodcutter's lodge as well. And that was really annoying that it doesn't fit in there. It really is very irritating. Think the dot means you have that accomplished well i don't think i've got fuel accomplished maybe i also need more kinds of food you're you're all at five out of eight right yeah i still don't have anyone here They're just taking food out of the farm, the, the stall. also need to build an actual freaking farm. Okay, the fields are irrelevant if I don't have a farm. Oh, can I get rid of this bloody uh, road now? No, I can't. That's, that's very unfortunate. I also need to make tools. I've got one tools, actually. What am I going to build with it? Probably like a... Can I build another burgage in here? Yes, I can. I'll just build another burgage there, why not? Still no one working at the tannery. I think also building another burgage might get me another group of peasants, maybe? You're only at four out of eight. Oh, so something's gone wrong. The food, I think, went down. Did we run out of berries, perhaps? No, there's still a bunch of berries. I'm gonna get more food. Obviously, you know, a bit of this will be nice. We're also gonna need to build a windmill next to the farm. Like, farming is a whole thing. And then we need a bloomery to make... We first need to build the mine, then the bloomery, um, then the smithy to get tools to get more farming stuff. Uh, Weaver's Workshop, is, that's not going to work because we don't have any wool. 
So the woodcutter's lodge is finished. I like that it's getting louder and louder as we go on. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. That's a bouncy cart. Holy hell. Oh my god. Wow. That is a bouncy cart. I think what we do want to do now, actually, is a trip. Oh my god, that's so big. It's so large. Why is it so large? And this is the livestock trading post. But I do want to sell... Oh my god. Uh, I do want to sell some things. Fancy pants is out for a walk. Hell yeah, I just got I gotta explore my village. Food variety in the marketplace plus two. We got some homelessness? How have we got home oh it's the past year, so it's irrelevant now. Oh, this is my new burgage place. It's almost done. Your men are just like standing around though. Like, please. Guys, please. Okay, a bit of fast forward fixed it. So I have another burgage pot. I wonder, am I gonna get any extra dudes? Mate, I'm pretty sure it's a bit cloudy. Right, we have three logs. We've still got two people working here, so that's good. I do like how it's getting a bit more, like, loud and lively as the game is going on. Alright, we got four... Do I want to build a trading post now? Or do I want to wait until I go eight and build a church? We also want to build a farm, which is four and one. I mean, the farm really should be built, like, here. There's a bit of fertility. I mean, it, nothing is, like, terrible. A 
Hey, we've got another family. 70 people now. Nice. Okay, so we, we can just build more burgage plots if we need to. I feel like I want to do that. Yeah, I'm going to build a farm. No fields in the region? Oh, you don't say. Now we have a field. And then we can still fit in the trade post here. It's such a huge building. Used to employ peasants in the fields, farm workers plow the fields uh, as soon as the winter passes, then sow them with the chosen crop, harvest them in September. Crops are transported to the farm and wheat is threshed into grain. So the farm makes it into grain. Oh, next level, medium village. I need ten burgage plots and a church. Each level gets you a development point that you can use to specialize your town and make it more efficient. Locked in the demo. Okay, so we got like a, a tech tree, a village tech tree. Let's go. Oh, we can rename it as well. Oh, oh. I mean, I got to. I got to. Called Fernwood. Fernwood is where I grew up as a child. I no longer live in the same country, so it's not exactly doxing myself. Um, but yeah, that's where I lived from like three years old to like 13. Special place in the heart. That's a root system. God, there's a lot of people working on that farm, not gonna lie. windmill in here. Well, I don't have the resources, but I feel like I can fit a windmill in there. Especially if I do something like... That. I'd be happy with that. Windmill efficiency, 82%. Okay. 89, 90, 91, nope. 91, 92, 93. 95%. So actually, you know, 82 isn't bad. Or, although, although, hello. Okay, it's going here. 97%. The windmills go in there. That that's efficient. This looks bad, but I don't even care. There needs to be a way of removing add and remove roads. How do you remove roads? Is it shift? I feel like I'm just adding extra road. 
Yeah, I feel like I've just added like lots of layers of extra road. Place road point, cancel, control. Alt, remove road, okay. Let's go. Right, we're gonna we're gonna fix this road to make it look prettier. Look, thread the needle, it works. This guy's house is not attached to the road. Connected to road network, whereas you, you're disconnected from road network. I think I need to move the granary. Which seems like a terrible idea. Because I can't move it. Let's build another granary. There. If that granary's there. Actually, actually, actually. Granary fits nice and snugly there. Pause the first one. Oh, disable building. Oh, that works. But we need we need this one to be going first before we pause the other one. So then this one. Do we just demolish? Uh. In the final game, there'll be a proper demolition process. Deleting snapped mana modules might leave gaps. Teleport resources to the nearest building to save them. Let's go. That's perfect. So we don't even lose anything. He just gets teleported. Middle-aged mastery of the, you know, logistics. Hey. So this one is now going to get yeeted. And then we're going to delete this road. Now everyone's attached. Is it all getting messy because it's autumn time? I feel like that's what's happening. Right, so that gives us a bunch of space here. What did I want for that space? I can't even remember. Well, I mean, I suppose we've we've definitely still got the tavern, which will fit. Please tell me that fits. That is that road in the way. Oh, I think it is. Oh, my burgage plot. If we tavern it up there. Do we have the space? I don't think we have the space for a road there. Maybe it turns into a higher tier of road. Yeah.
We could also just build the tavern here. Although, it's also useless to build the tavern right now, because we don't have enough... Um, we don't have any mead. So what about building... A church? Like, the church is just... It's just fat. The church is fat. We'll build it up on this hill area. Where could we... Where do we want the church? Could have it there, but then there's like a huge space that's not being used for anything. I feel like this granary needs moving again. <laughs> um, also, the market, considering I have three stalls, is huge. Like, I, I'd need a malt house for the gra uh, for the for the uh, tavern. I'd need a brewery for the tavern, and those are both. Like, neither of those are small buildings either. Like, this I'm happy with over here. I know what's going there. The fact that your house door is here, I'd love to be able to... Like, relocate your house door. Is that's it? Really, I want to relocate your door. I want to relocate the entire thing, honestly, because like I could definitely scooch that up here. You could have a bigger burgage plot if I just if if I just did that. I'll build you a new one. Don't worry about it, buddy. Because look, look, it's gonna be it's gonna, it's so much better. It's so much better. Don't even worry about it. Look, and now and now you got a bigger burgage plot. Look, look at your sexy little burgage plot. Yeah, it's, it's big and huge and nice. What? What the, what the hell? Oh, there's a, there's a bloody... F when you've made the size of it, there's a little rotate tool. I bet that chooses where the thing goes. All right, so now that that's sorted, we can now fit, and it looks reasonably decent, a church. Ding dong. Let's go. And then I've got a road that can go here, and then I could have, like, my, you know, my brewery industry up there. Burgish plot is done. We're going to get ourselves a church. Guys, build it with love. This is where Jesus lives. Snowing. Okay. Look, the snows came just in time. Right. We managed to get the church up so we can pray to Jesus to be able to live through the winter. But everyone is. Everyone's got a house. Even the guys that just only just got a house. Kind. I kind of want there to be a road there. Just because it makes 
it looks better. There we go. It doesn't do anything. This is not a path that they go through, but it looks it looks nicer like that. Let's have a look inside the church. No, open the doors. Oh, actually, just the whole body of Jesus thing. Nice church. I suppose that church is also upgradable. Oh, bell sound. Don't mind me. Just playing with the bell. I do. F uh, this is this is cool though. All right. The first thing we're gonna be planting is Emma. I think. Threshing priority medium. God, you could put a bunch of people in there. We're five out of eight priority on on these burgages. Six out of eight. Let's go. Six out of eight. Four out of eight. So faith is faith's got a little dot on it. Food's got. Hmm. I feel like I need the bread. I need to. I need to add the bread to my people's diet. Alternatively, we need to find some salt. And just planting vegetable like is there is there a way to plant vegetables? Nope. So we do want to rotate crops. Second year barley, third year fallow. Mate, guys, guys, cunts, it's real, it's real cold. Go to, go sit by a fire. Cunts, please. Imagine that being the default fucking guy. Hey, we've got nine timber. I want to build a trading post now as well. Indeed, let us indeed get to work. I do like the sprawl of the village, though. It looks natural. Even when I'm screwing around deleting roads and stuff, it looks natural. Yeah, I definitely need that tavern. Buried deposits vanish. Firewood is required for survival. Sheep shearing forbidden. Chance of getting ill. Oh, fun. You can't hold over the dots above the requirements to see what they mean. Required for the next residential upgrade. Required for the next residential level upgrade. Will cause a loss of approval if not fulfilled. The dot is requirement met. Okay, so I don't have a clothing requirement met. Wait, th this is not met. Green is required. It's very... I don't know. Do I need... I need... You've got five. But I only see three dots. Requirement met, three dots. But there's five. There's, there's, there's five green tri uh, diamonds. So is that it? I need eight diamonds? Like, if I look at the eight... Was that you that had the eight? No, you're at five. Who had the, sorry, six here. You've just got extra food. 
Red is essential. Green is for happiness and the diamond is the requirement met. Water and fuel are included. Uh, okay, so... Okay. So everyone's got water and fuel. So what is the difference between you... You've got two food and a faith. And you, who's got three food and a faith. So what food have you got? You've got firewood and berries. You've got just firewood. You've got no berries. Get yourself some berries and perhaps indeed some meat. So is anyone like this is a farm. This is a burgage plot. You're at five. You're at six. Why don't you get yourself some meat? Is it because you get it and you eat it immediately? Do you have any meat left? There's 30 meat there. Alright, we're going to follow Ott. Sit, we're gonna follow, follow Ott. There. Oh, we can only follow him in uh, regular mode. Whose house do you go to? Oh, that's not a house at all. That's a store. Why is the bell ringing? No! Somebody died! Who died? Heinz? Oh, mate, it's chilly. Get get inside, Heinz. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can rename people. <laughs> Anto gave me a, a sub earlier today, so Anto can be in. If anyone wants to, to have a person named after them, uh, I, I, I'm accepting bribes. Uh, Dark Horse also gave us bits, so we'll, we'll, we're going to find somebody and rename them after Dark Horse. Cunts has to stay, though, let's be honest. Uh, we've got two Linharts, so I'm going to rename a Linhart. <laughs> Love it. We can rename people. So I get like a little grave in the in the church. Where is the dead body? I wish um, I wish to see the dead body. Transporting? Are you transporting a body? No. Cunt is the main character of the village. Fact. It's not this guy. Right, so. What do I have a lot of? I have a lot of meat. So food. I will export meat until I've got a target of 70 meat. Commodities. I will import clothes until I have 20. And shoes. And linen clothes. Do I have, I have a lot of anything else? 
Got firewood, I guess. Oh, pelts. Pelts, pelts, pelts. Materials. Pelts. I will export until I've got... 30. There we go. Oh, you're cold. Hmm. Heinz. Time to find a good tree and soft ground. You're not homeless, my dude. Homeless family's one. Fuck. He is homeless. Okay. We'll build you a house, mate. We'll build you a house. Don't worry. Burgage plot incoming. It's on its way. Um, where are we building the burgage? I wonder, can we get one in here? Oh, we can. And... Yeah, that just decides where the, the door is. I'm happy with that. Alright, burgage him up. Quickly. Before he dies of death. You just went straight past us. That's unfair. There we go. You're not homeless anymore. Get in the house. Hey. stuff to the granary, okay. Stocks damaged by weather in the storehouse. No! Overview. Oh, hello. I don't care about the destination. I would love to import oxen. Yeah, sure. Um, I don't really have any animal pens, so I probably shouldn't try and import any animals. I feel like that should probably go there. There's no better place for it around here, is there? No. That would go there. So we're basically ready for bread season later. Don't you dare say that bell is up for like another death. Trader just straight went past us. Anyway, yeah, we got the communal oven, so when we got a bit of bread going, that's fine. Two months of food left. There's still animals over there. Pop another dude there. I mean, it's still 31 meat. It just requires the meat to be transported around. I'm pretty sure we have... Yeah, we got some dudes up here as well, some animals. Where were you off to? 
waiting for logs to be collected. Okay. Wait, is it melting? Oh, snap. It, not only is it melting, the grass is growing. That is so impressive. That looks so good. Wow. I'm very impressed. I'm not going to lie. That is very impressive. I don't know how trading works. <laughs> very much. Very much like to know. There's two meat in the trading post. I don't know why. I, I will import some tools as well. Sure. I don't have any money. I need to sell things first. Before I can do anything. You, sir, sir, cartman. Come, come enjoy my wares. We have two meat. Hmm. Well. Could work. Could have worked. I'd like to see some people like farming. Does that re does it require tools to farm? I would imagine so. These guys are all waiting. Do I do, am I seriously no, continue? Am I seriously gonna get screwed because I don't have any tools? That's not much. Because I'm not going to lie, getting tools is actually a big ask. How am I going to get tools? I know I started the game with one. And it's gone now, I don't know where it's gone. No one's going to till my field if there's no tools to till the field. Um... Do we have to go build a mine? A mine. Okay, so I guess it can go anywhere, but it should go on the mineable resource. I don't want to get rid of any berries, so make sure we skip past them. Called it a mine. A mine. Is anyone going to come mine the mine? Oh, here they come. Here they come. Let's go. It just needed one log. Because along the mine, we need a bit of industry. We need a bloomery. Um, and then we need a smithy.
pop that there, and the bloom ray can go there. Low on supply. We're low on food, I think. Yeah, we're low on food. But somebody needs to go and get berries then. What are all my people doing? Right, we've got two in the storehouse. We got no one there. Woodcutters Lodge. Do we need that now? I mean, we've got a lot of. No, we've not got a lot of firewood. Training post, I'll get rid of you because you're not doing anything for me. Tannery never has worked. Um, farm, nothing has happened. There's no... Nothing going on there, so we'll just remove that now. I know what everyone's doing. Waiting? Waiting for what? Just go do stuff. The seller is transporting. Oh, are we... Is this, is this the issue? I still don't know where Kunrad is going. What are you doing? You're are you just chopping trees or something? Is anyone working the mine yet? They mind their own business. Evidently that is what they're doing. We've got um, a controls me key bindings. There we go. I'm looking for something like remove UI cinematic mode control C. Hey. I take pictures of my village because it's beautiful. <laughs> the game is very pretty indeed. Yes, it is. I know why they gave us like 1600 days to do this now. Because it's mad. It's mad what you need to do. I feel like a big issue is there's meat here, but it's not going to the granary. Oh, <gasps> we made money! Where is my money? Regional wealth, eight. Let's go! Now we can buy tools! Sell me tools! No, you're cunts. I'm not like... Alright, I don't know about you, but I've, I've played Kingdom Come Deliverance, and, um, you just see, you know, mm, 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 mm. A little worried, not gonna lie. Oh, somebody's actually working here? Who's working here? Yorg. That's Barbara. Where is Yorg? Fella. Fella, please. Fella, please. What are you doing all the way over there? Mate. That is a hike indeed. I assume he's like a new hire. They've planted a bit in the farm. Oh, 
Oh snap! 9% plowing progress, let's go! Alright, add one worker. Who did that? And do it more. Yeah, there's food here. Do I want to make more food stalls? I feel like I should make more food stalls because... Then there's more space for people to have, you know... Um, purchase... Uh, to, to store the food here, right? Let's build three. Set into a control where the peasant should use the building as a temporary job when they're idle. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Turn that off. You temporarily idle there. Yes. Perfect. Yo, are you coming? Where are you? You still on your way, or have you arrived already? I think he's probably arrived. Leather, let's go. So if we have leather... How do you make clothes? You turn it into leather, but then, then where does it go from leather? Is leather just the, the... The end product? Materials, leather, export only, with a target of zero. Sell all the leather, because it's apparently useless. Pathfinding stockpile resource collection is the make or break of these games, I swear. It is. That's very true. I think pathfinding's pretty good. I feel like the locking camp is... is Probably not. I mean, we got we got a lot. Let's just turn it off for now. Disable the building. We have plenty of logs. Has anyone used the mine yet? And there's no way to like improve the priority either. Um, we've got two linen clothes. You're, you're waiting, Anto, mate. Go and mine. Like, it's not... There's a job. Please go and do it. I feel like we're going to probably starve to death. Like 
the mine was done so that I can make some tools. Or I could buy tools. Like, that's also totally nice. I could, I could totally take some tools. So it's six out of eight. Clothing we've got. We've got a new clothing type. So that's good. Seven out of eight. Oh my god, we are so close. We are so close. All you need is like an extra bit of clothing or some entertainment. What are the clothing types are there? We could get cloaks and stuff. Like you're you're trying to buy cloaks. I don't know what let, let's let's keep a guy on there. I don't know what it does, but um commodities cloaks target stock of 20. Yes, that's what we want to see. I don't know what candles do. We could also try and like import some ale. If that'd work, I don't know. They pass me by and they don't buy anything. We've only got 24 meat. Why are the berries? The berry, like... Why? Why? Where? What is everyone doing? You're waiting. You're a warehouse worker. Why are you a warehouse worker? We've only got one person. And it's cunts. It's not you. So where? why are you trying to work at the warehouse? Granary worker? I only have one person on the granary. Three tanners? Excuse me? I only have one person on tanning. I hope there's food in people's houses. There's like two food there. There's two food there. But I think we're probably going to be boned. Because, um, I think job priorities are not functioning quite as correctly as they maybe could be. What happens if I make a larger burger plot? Uh, sorry, burgage plot. Um, it splits it into two. So I'll show you. Um, if I want to make like a colossal chunky one, it'll be three plots. Or I could probably even get like four out of this if I... Maybe I couldn't, actually. Okay, maybe three is the maximum then. But yeah, I can get like a row. We can get some terrace houses, you know. It is sick. That's really cool. I don't think we have any that are doubled up. We didn't. We didn't make any like that. We have a couple that are next to each other. Like these two are next to each other, but they were individually placed. I mean, it's already October. We don't. We don't have the food to survive the winter. Twenty-six meat. For 21 people. We tried to get an extra person there. Hunting limit 20? Fella, nah. You murder them, them dudes. There's 20 dudes left. Maybe we need to build another hunting cabin. I 
try it. But we're out of food. We're out of time. People are going to start to die. <laughs> Shame you can't make roads with through gaps like that. Yeah. Like, it feels like there's enough space. Like, there felt like there was enough space between when the thing was here as well, the, the granary. It does require a little bit more forward planning. There's the starvation. Really? That's interesting. I gave it my best shot. My beautiful little town. <laughs> oh, now it's starting to snow. It's starting to snow. We're starving and we're freezing. And this is going to be a very short-lived town. I'm sorry, Yorg. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. You're irrelevant. But you're one of my OGs. Yorg, Herman, Kunz, and Linhart, and Ott. My OG5. They're all procrastinating. Because they don't know how to survive. It's, it's so sad. R.I.P. Fernwood, indeed. You're just going to stand here and die to death. St hey, storage limit reached, though. You never know, it might be food. Go look. Death from hunger. Death from hunger. Come on, Yorg. You can live. You can live. Is there a way of resigning people? Not that I can see. That's another one. And another. Da -da -dun, dun dun Another one bites the dust. Da -da -dun, dun dun Another one bites the dust. And another one's gone. And another one's gone. Another one. Actually, my population has just gone up by two. <laughs> They're rejoining. There's no food in the village. Stop trying to arrive. We tried, we failed, but this was our first run. Oh, God. <laughs> Do I have any of the OGs? Jorg, Herman, Kunz is still alive. He's he's hiding out in his house. It's okay, it's okay, Kunz. We will never forget you. I see you in there, buddy. Stay strong. The absolute OG Chad. You were just watching another stream and the same thing happened. Yeah, I, I feel I feel like um, the the issue that we had was um, removing workers from jobs didn't remove them from jobs like we had um on the tanners workshop we had three people working there even though i'd set it to only one um and when that happens like what what do you do at that point so people who are you know i want more people on the forestry or on the not forestry on the um the berries but we couldn't put one there looks like phantom jobs after reassignments yeah but, like I said, this game is not out yet. This is not a release version. This is a demo. There's bugs in it. There's 
issues and you know this is the period of time where those kind of things are found solved sorted and fixed you know it just is that way if they die the job problem might solve itself I mean I still don't have any food so I don't think it's solving itself Yeah, but that is the end of Fernwood, so we're gonna we're gonna pop it here. There is no save game, so I'm not getting back to this as soon as I leave. This uh, this city is is doomed. Uh, I'm gonna take another screenshot of my lovely little city in the snow because it looks fucking beautiful. Um, but yeah, beautiful, love it. Uh, that's Manalords. I'm gonna be um, trying a bit again a few times. Uh, a demo of early access of an indie game. Uh, what time in the gaming industry? At least the free demos are back, right? Please expect many rough edges. I still continue to work and improve the game every single day. Thank you for understanding, Greg, my Lord's developer. Since, uh, since it's but a very modest, quick tool look at the game's development, there is no saving. It is what it is. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off now because uh, it's almost six a.m. in the morning, <laughs> and um, I was not intending to stream um, this early, but I did. Thank you all very much for watching. If you're new here, I know a lot of people um, have arrived for to watch this. I've seen a lot of first-time chairs. If you want to follow me, I will be doing more Manor Lords. I also play quite a lot of um, Anbana, which is a mod for European Universalis 4. It's a fantasy full conversion mod uh, for the game, which is really fun. And I play multiplayer on that um, quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Um, hope you follow, hope you come back next time I play, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Uh, but we're first going to go and find somebody to raid, and we'll see if there's anybody uh, playing Manor Lords. It was fun, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, no, oh my god. Uh, is anyone playing Manor Lords, I wonder? Uh, we're gonna go and raid Tokshin. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I will see about uh, playing some more of this in the not-too-distant future. Uh, but until then, uh, go and enjoy some of Tokshin's uh, little village. Uh, hopefully it'll be running a bit more smoothly than mine. Bye-bye. to